Hello everyone. In this segment, the instructor will take up some doubts and uh, so does the segment is doubt session. So the first question to be asked to each and everyone is in the concept of the force exerted by the jet on a moving plate or a vein why work done per second is is always equals to fx into u the first question to be asked is why work done per second is fx into u now uh, we'll try to understand this work done from the first principles work done is always force into displacement so to some extent i can say displacement is is equals to distance or if i can write the velocity the velocity of plate is displacement by time and displacement is nothing but velocity into time or uh, the displacement is or even the velocity can be expressed as its its a rate of displacement okay now work done is equals to force into if i can substitute velocity into time for displacement work done is force into velocity of the plate into time now i'll take up this time to the denominator part of the left hand side so work done by time is force into velocity of the plate now it's very clear we started with work done and work done equals to force into displacement work done per time or work done per second is equals to force into velocity of the plate and the same can be written as fx the force into velocity of the plate is u so i hope i have addressed the first issue of why the work done per second is always fx into u now let me come to the second question the second question is why kinetic energy per second is input uh, while we calculate efficiency efficiency of the jet which is equals to output by input and output is work done per second divided by the input is kinetic energy per second now we'll try to understand this uh, understand the concept of why kinetic energy per second is is always considered to be an input let us go with the 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 theory of a nozzle a jet and this moving plate now in this the input part is always related to the jet which is issuing from a nozzle so whenever a jet is concerned here it is considered under its kinetic energy so the energy per time energy per time is the input energy or input uh, a part of the efficiency and the output part is always related to work done per second so work done per second is output and input is the input energy or the kinetic energy issuing from the nozzle per second okay now power is work done by time power is also equals to energy by time if we make use of this power is equals to work done per time for the output power and power equals to energy by time for the input power see in both the cases power is one and the same but we make use of the circumstances in such a way that work done per time is used as a parameter to measure output power and energy or kinetic energy per time per second is used to measure the input power so ultimately output power divided by input power is the efficiency okay now it is still a question now why kinetic energy per second is input the kinetic energy is half into m into v square kinetic energy is half into m into v square it is kind of an energy so m is the mass mass of the liquid mass of water mass is nothing but it is its density into volume okay it is density into volume and density into volume into velocity square and whenever i say kinetic energy per second it is volume divided by second volume divided by time now half into for m it is rho into volume divided by time 
into V square, volume by time is always discharge and discharge is area into velocity. That is what which is written here, it is half into rho into area into velocity into velocity square and half into rho into A into V cube becomes kinetic energy per second and it, it is a characteristics of input and hence the absolute velocity is taken into consideration not the relative velocity and hence kinetic energy per second is always equals to half into rho into a into v cube and to summarize the efficiency of the jet is equals to always work done per second and that is fx into u fx into u is work done per second divided by the kinetic energy per second and that is half into rho into a into v cube now always you may vary the formula for fx based on several other circumstances it may be a vane it may be a plate plate is straight plate is inclined but the denominator part half rho into a into v cube will always remain same hope i have cleared your doubt